Yo guys, what is going on? Insanity coming back at you today with another Division video, and today we're going to be jumping through the entire vendor reset for September 22nd, 2017. Starting out at the special equipment vendor down in the terminal, we're going to see a Historian with max rolled headshot damage at 172%. The talents rolled on this thing is going to be proficient, fierce, and history repeats. Get rid of that proficient and throw something on like deadly, ferocious, something that's going to give you a little bit of extra damage output, especially against elites. It would also help you out over in the dark zone with those ex extra explosive rounds. Down over in the knee pad section, you can find yourself a pair of Alpha Bridge knee pads rolled with 1538 armor, 1259 stamina, and 15,000 health. You can try and roll this exactly however you need it for your current Alpha Bridge build to try and perfect it. And of course, don't forget in update 1.8, you can tweak all the attributes to try and make this the ultimate god rolled version of knee pads for yourself. Next, we're going to be heading on over to the Camp Hudson hub. Over in the very, very back, you can find yourself a very nicely rolled healing station mod, and this thing has 4.5% healing station speed. So for all of you out there trying to better your reclaimer builds, this little mod here will do just that. Next, we're going to be taking a trip all the way over to the bottom right of the map at the Ward Safe House, and here you can find yourself perhaps the best mod I've seen in quite some time. Um, I'm all about... 260 plus mods, whether it be firearms, stamina, or electronics, and this bad boy is a firearms mod at 267 and 3% skill haste. So for you trying to do that little bit of extra DPS while trying to keep your skills on a much faster cooldown, this mod here is definitely going to help you out in that department. Next, we're going to be making our way on over to the grindhouse safe house and smgs i feel like are kind of making a pretty nice little comeback and if you're still looking for an mp5 this one will definitely do you well they have an mp5 st sitting at this location at this safe house with 22 percent critical hit chance accurate determined and destructive again i'm all about trying to take down the elites get rid of that determined put on something like ferocious deadly brutal anything that's going to help you out all around trying to do that little bit of extra dps against those npcs or help you out a little bit more if you're wanting to roll things more towards pvp set it up with competent or something like that next we're going to be heading on over to a dz checkpoint e 61st street checkpoint this one is going to have one thing an extended mag and this thing is absolutely awesome it's 120 percent ammo capacity 4.5 percent reload speed and four percent critical hit chance if you've been trying to get yourself a pretty decent magazine and extended mag, this one is definitely going to do you well. Lastly, we're going to be making our way into one DZ safe house. This is over at the DZ6 safe house over at the West 55th Street. Inside here, you can pretty much find a full collection as long as you're using Ninja Bike striker set. Um, you're going to find three separate pieces, a chest piece, a set of knee pads, and a pair of gloves and they're all pretty decent across the board. You can always try and tweak these things and update 1.8 in the future to try and have a better version of each one with the optimization station, but we're looking at a chest piece with 1928 armor, 1169 stamina, you can always reroll that, enemy armor damage, damage to elites, all that good stuff on all these pieces, the striker knee pads, 1424 armor, and the gloves at 951 armor. You're gonna see critical hit chance, you're gonna see enemy armor damage, you're gonna see damage to elites. So it's a nice little combination to try and get things going for a nice DPS build with Striker. Overall guys, that's gonna be pretty much everything this week. Like if you haven't already, sub if you're brand new to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.